Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my July favorites, all beauty products, no fashion, no weird food things, all beauty products. So let's just go ahead and jump in. The first category I'm going to start with is hair care. There's a couple products that I've had in my collection that I have rediscovered and started using a lot more than before. So the first one is, is the Dry Bar Detox. I actually recently purchased this at Sephora. I had it in my collection for so long, ran out, and then I never repurchased it. I went and repurchased it and I forgot how much I missed this and how good it was. It is so good, smells so good. People stop you and say, what are you wearing? What fragrance? But it's actually just the dry shampoo. I love it. I would say that it's a high price point just because one bottle would probably only last me like a month, three weeks, month. I use a lot of dry shampoo, but it's a great dry shampoo and I'll definitely repurchase it. The next product is the Whey Finishing Cream. So I love this product for putting a quarter size amount in my palm of my hand, rubbing it together, and actually putting it through the curls. So it makes it so they're less frizzy, less poofy, and it really defines the curls. Let me show you. So I put about this amount, rub it in my hands. I don't want too much, but I wanna make sure that I'm making just combing my hands through and it kind of defines the curls but also makes them less poofy gives you a tiny bit of volume but it's not tacky or sticky so i love this stuff it is something i've been reaching for so often and i'm about halfway through so that's really surprising for a hair care product for me but i've been loving the way collection one skincare product I have in here is the Skin Iceland Pure Cloud Cream. This is a moisturizer that I recently picked up and I instantly fell in love. It is a moisturizer that sinks so deep into the skin but also so quickly. I could throw this on in the morning and slap my makeup on five minutes afterwards and not be concerned um, even though it is quite a rich hydrating moisturizer. Normally in the morning I go for a very thin moisturizer but as you can tell it's quite heavy and quite thick but it does soak in so quickly. I can't even explain to you what this moisturizer does for me. I've never tried anything like this. I've tried thin moisturizers, thick moisturizers, but nothing that seems thick but soaks in like a thin moisturizer, if that makes any sense. But it's such a great moisturizer. I would highly recommend it, and I will have it linked down below for you. Two fragrances that I have been loving is the brand new Chanel Ovive, maybe? I don't know. I got it as a gift. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it's a new Chanel fragrance. It smells so good. It's in the Chance collection, so a little bit more fruity. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's not too fruity, fruity, but it has a little bit of a masculine smell to it. I've been loving this guy. And the second one I have been loving is the Sea by Chloe. So I've had this in my collection for a little while now, pushed to the back. I didn't reach for it as often as I probably should have, but I smelled a Chloe fragrance on one of my best friends and I was like, what are you wearing? So we went to Sephora, I tried it on my skin. It smelled amazing. Came home, looked at my collection, and I had a Chloe fragrance. I actually have a couple. So I brought them to the front of my collection of fragrances, and I've started using them, and I've been loving it. Not a heavy scent, not fruity, a little bit floral, but not heavy, which is what I look for in the summer, and I've been loving that. Next category of products is makeup products. I have about five products here of my top makeup products for the month of July. Starting with the lipstick, it is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It's Sphinx Sphinx by Katy Perry. It's CoverGirl lipstick it is so good just my neutral everyday shade that I love so much I can always go for a neutral shade in my life so I love this but I'm not sure I love the smell and the taste of it. it smells like a really cheap lipstick which it is but I really love the shade of it so I have been reaching for that a lot lately Another makeup product is the Wet n Wild Foundation. So I've reached for this a little bit more after doing my foundation declutter. I brought it more to the front of my of my Alex drawers and I've been reaching for it a lot more lately. I really like the coverage it gives. I just use a tiny little bit. So a few dabs everywhere and do a sheer coverage with this foundation. I don't go heavy and thick because it's such an affordable product. It also doesn't smell the greatest. I've mentioned it before, but it smells 100% like wet paint, but I'll take it for a great coverage foundation. The next product is also in that foundation category. It's the La Roche-Posay Tinted Sunscreen. It's a sunscreen 50, which is very important to me, but it also has that tint to it. When you first squeeze it out, it's a little bit gritty, which 
is kind of alarming. Um, but when you smooth it onto the skin, all the little gritty particles kind of go away. I think it's mineral sunscreen, so that's why it's gritty, not a chemical formula of sunscreen. But it protects you against UVA and UVB, which is important to me, and I love the tint to it. I've talked about La Roche-Posay sunscreen, just the regular one in general, many times, but I do like this one a lot as well. What I would say is that they only have one shade, so it's a medium tone shade, so it works great when I have like a little bit of a self tan on. I have to blend really well down my neck if I'm my fair self, so keep that in mind when looking for that. Another product I have is the Smashbox Gel Black Eyeliner. This is one that I definitely rediscovered in my collection. It is still soft. It doesn't... It hasn't gotten hard, which I'm really surprised about, but it smooths on the eyes so easily. As mentioned in my oldies but goodies tutorial, I use the Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Liner Brush and it works perfectly with this. I love this eyeliner. I will definitely be using this up just because it's so easy. I never realized that gel liner was so easy until I pulled this guy back out. The last but certainly not least favorite for the month of July is Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm definitely looking forward to their brand new palette that they're launching, but I have went to town on this palette. It doesn't even show how bad it is like dust filled, but this palette is a little janky. I love the shades in it. I love the formula. They are amazing. I'm wondering if the formula in the palettes is in this palette is the same as the single shadows because I haven't purchased any of the single shadows but I'd definitely be interested in them if they were the same formula so let me know down below in the comment section but one thing I don't like about this palette is the packaging it's velvet it looks dirty there's like foundation and eyeshadow all over it it's not cute but I'm looking forward to the new one like I mentioned I have saw all the swatches and the colors on Instagram so I'll definitely be picking that up because I, I was late to the party for this palette but I'll be picking up the other one just just because I love this guy so much and I would think that the quality is going to be just the same. So those are all of my July favorites. I didn't have too much. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys but it's also been a summer month so I've been throwing things on and running out the door. I haven't used too many products but those definitely are the ones that stood out to me. So that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you soon.